What's good, YouTube family? This your boy, Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. I wanted to talk about somebody today. That gentleman's name is Kevin Samuels. This gem gentleman has been going through a little bit skirmishes through the last couple of days over an interesting video he said. Now, Kevin Samuels is a consultant. He gives people advice. He also has a channel. His net worth is well over a million. He could be doing a whole lot of other stuff out here. He conserves his time. He gives certain critiques on personnel to being i.e. women and men. And we're going to play the video now. He has a special video where he gave a critique on a, a particular woman. I think her name was Jessica. I don't want to mistake it. We're going to play it right away. Want to be different for this video. There's a lot of backlash he caught. We're gonna look at the videos of the backlash as well. A couple of names you see in the title have to get called out. Let's let's go to the video to see where he was coming from and what happened with the situation. Those younger girls don't necessarily are necessarily twenty year olds are not necessarily attracted to forty five year olds. Bullshit. I'm, Bullshit. I'm fifty one and I, and I can't beat them off with a stick. That's another one you lies. No, younger women are always, younger women are attracted to older men. What are you talking about? So, can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay, so do you feel like a woman like me? Uh-huh. What would you rank yourself on a scale from one to ten? Wow. You cannot use seven. Would I rate myself? Mm -hmm. Just your face. Uh, my face is when I wake up, five, but when I put myself together, six. Okay. No. And how tall are you? I five. Dress size. I'm sorry? Your dress size. A three. Okay. So that makes you, if you give yourself a five, that's average. You stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Breathe and digest. You're 35 years old, and you can look around and see the world. You don't tend to see higher earning men with average looking women off rip if you do see them they got them they got their average looking woman when they were both really young and he built his way up but a man earning the kind of money you're talking about does not go for an average looking woman nope i mean my body is not average so but your ma'am you see how he's trying to help her out like me in particular i don't judge a woman based on her appearance all the way like that but i gotta be honest you are looking for some type of attraction she tried to say her body and he's getting frustrated because that was not the particular point of what she asked him for help on or critique on it was about the facial experience and not being an average woman so you can gain that well off seven figure eight figure man whatever and, and i don't think she's catching on to that or leeching on to it because she's quickly went to her body. I'm going to let her continue now. You please don't make me say it. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I really just wanted some advice. I love you. Yeah, I'm, giving you I'm giving you advice, but you're not taking it. The I'm advice is, ma'am, ma'am, you're average looking at best. I'm taking it in, but... I'm not going to lie. The way my dog, Kevin Samuel, delivers his cold hard truth you can't be sensitive for it because my man is going to be fully bluntly honest and this is where some people had the backlash you heard what he just said let's rewind some of it this is where some people were like screaming towards it and like what is kevin doing over here advice, I love you. Yeah, i'm giving you i'm giving you advice but you're not taking it the advice is ma'am ma'am you're average looking at best oh. i'm taking it in but okay but you're not accepting the fact that Okay. Average looking women. Average looking woman who's older. Average looking older woman with a 13 year old son. Average looking woman with a 13 year old son with a sketchy baby daddy. <coughs> this gets worse every time I say something. And now you're asking for a man who's in the top 10% of men. Jesus. Kind of and if you notice what she's doing she's recording kevin as he's going along i want to get on my tirade and my rant 
So let's expedite this and fast forward a little bit. We're already at the good parts, but it gets even better, ladies and gentlemen. The average guy. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting something out of it. Did you guys notice that? He was giving her advice. This is where a lot of men like saying women don't like to listen and adhere to that certain critique or advice because she's on her phone. Don't know if she's recording him or talking to somebody. Either way, the insinuation here is she's not paying attention. And you can see the frustration in Kevin. Kevin didn't even want to talk about that particular debate. He had a completely different show, but she insinuated and kept kind of egging it on and he gave into it being a gentleman that he is. If you guys really want to know what happened, being that he sees she was relentless and pursuing that critique and advice, being that, i.e., Kevin being a consultant, he, in this way, I think he's doing a due diligence and a justice to the lady. But let's continue. Um, <laughs> in order to fully submit, I have to feel like he's in. Well, then you're going to die alone. How about that? Yeah. Right, let me just cut your chase, man. Uh, you can feel like what you want to. But women like you die alone. Ooh. Straight up. Ooh. Because you think you're better than the men that you qualify for. Ooh, wow. The only reason, honestly, ma'am, that I can see a woman like yourself really thinking you deserve more is because you earn more because you earn more money than most people around you in North Carolina. Mm. And if your ass worked at the post office, you would not think so highly of your opportunities. Cold hard truth. Let me just cut your chase, ma'am. Uh, you can feel like what you want to, but women like you die alone. Ooh. Straight up. Ooh. I mean, Kevin told her the truth. Nevertheless, people are not going to like the way he presented it. And before I give my particular opinions, you got people such as Corey Holcomb, a dude called Jackson Brand or Band. We're going to put him on blast too. Then you got Dr. Morris Twalkins, and then you got the... Another dude who I kind of was let down by him too. Um, I'm, I'm gonna give you guys him right quick. Uh, okay, I wrote several other people down, but one particular guy you guys do know of. I didn't really want to say his name. I'm gonna put it Willie D. And I have to go over a receipt right quick, and I just seen it. All these gentlemen are jealous of Kevin Samuels, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down. I want to show a little bit receipts first. One being a guy that. I kind of, you know, um, I had somewhat respect for him. And before I even get into that, I want you guys to know Kevin Samuel does the same critique the men. Uh, shout out from Jason from Hollywood Unlocked. He had a, a certain receipt I didn't have to waste my time to get into. And you can see where Kevin fully goes into men too. Pause. He critiques men like no other. Let me just play it right quick for you guys. You got a big dick? Huh? You have a big dick? I mean, it's above average. I ain't no Ron Jeremy. No, 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 no. I asked you if you had a big dick. I just said it was above average. I don't know what that is. But... Uh, nigga, you know if you had a big dick or not. Stop the bullshit. <laughs> Every dude know whether or not he got a big dick. I know I got a big dick. You don't know? I mean, <laughs> that's the point. You don't have a big dick. You don't have a big wallet. You're a big, you're a fat dude. You got a lot of nerve thinking you should choose to sit with a five foot ten and three hundred pounds, making less than a thousand dollars a month at twenty years old. I mean, what more can you say towards that? For so, where was the backlash on people saying cancel Kevin for coming at a man like that? Now you heard him asking the man, does he have a large? You know what? I know people are using that to call him, he's sweet, he's more zesty and all that. But you got to listen to the full clip, the conversation that started off. Kevin is a consultant. There was a 300 plus pound gentleman asking Kevin advice on getting women or whatnot. And he blamed it on women themselves and what to do better or whatever. Kevin cut straight to the chase and was like, wait a minute. Number one, you're not admitting if you have a big D or not. I mean, almost all dudes who have one, we know what we have. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. You don't gotta fake the funk, you don't gotta act, you don't have to use a ruler. I, don't, I, doubt, I, I think in my life I've never used a ruler on my kid's life. You just know your feelings and what you know. So he's basically letting that man know you don't have the confidence, you don't have it down there as well, you don't have the income. You don't, Your chances are slim in getting a female. It's you, Negro, it's not the female. He cuts straight to the chase. 
Where was the organizations? Where were these celebrities that say what he did to that man was wrong? What was the outrage? What was the manifest? Because, you know, you have feminists. We need a manifest, whatever you call it, because this is a, a, a outrage. And Corey Holcomb, a brother of mine, who I have respect for, Willie D. Benison, during the Amanda Seals situation, I'm surprised people forgot about that. During the Amanda Seals situation, there was no other than the likes of Willie D. himself simping and being basically a, a, a buffoonery, I call him, for the masses. It wasn't just the Kevin situation. Willie D was in several other situations that you can look at. Willie D called the man somewhat of a Morris this and that. But this is Willie D here dressing the same. Almost like he had to level up and boss up. Mostly all these gentlemen you see throwing dish and dirt on the consultant himself. That is uh, Kevin or whatever. I, I take it as jealousy, man. I'm looking at some of these dudes and it's like, you can't call it nothing else but the jealousy part. So for Willie D and then Dr. Morris Talkins, I watch, we're gonna get to Corey Holcomb with clips and receipts. Dr. Morris Talkins is another individual who you can tell was salivating at the mouth. He couldn't wait for his opportunity. This guy over here who does Ponzi scams or whatever allegedly couldn't wait for his opportunity to pounce on Kevin because he did a whole two hour live. Like number one, why would you do the two hour live on a man that's your peer that you could re reach out to? He even says on the video that he could have reached out to Kevin. So instead of reaching out to Kevin, which he admitted he could have done, he chooses to do a two hour live as if it's a celebration victory. There's a backlash on Kevin Day. Everybody let's gang up on Kevin. That's why I took that initially as then I furthermore looked more into it and I was corrected. Dr. Moise Talkins is a jealous fool. The guy who got on his knees for that female proposal, which nothing was wrong with it, but the way he did it, clout chasing, the, a man who gives advice to young people and older people who doesn't have a backbone, but this is the guy critiquing Kevin and giving advice to you and I. This is the guy who literally said on the video that we need to watch these type of brothers. They use women to tell them and call them queens so they can get money. And I started going, wait a minute, the guy who has a channel called F Fly Nubian Queens, the guy who started his YouTube career on calling every single woman a queen, no matter what wrong she did, the guy who did videos saying a black woman can never be um, at fault. We have to look at what caused her to do. Like, this is the guy critiquing Kevin. So what sorts of consultant would you listen to? The fake consultant calling people fake consultants? Or an actual one who has the resume, the credentials, everything counts. He has the car facts of what he does. He has everything you can pinpoint. I'm not calling the man perfect. That's foolish. Nobody in this world is perfect. But to watch these gentlemen, these brothers, black men is at that, couldn't wait to pounce on this gentleman. When at, this was the calling call for all men to stick together. When one of the men in our communities who actually do good, is being belittled, ostracized, and just attacked from every which way. Instead, you have a gentleman by the name of Corey Holcomb who let me down. I'm gonna go to that clip right quick. And before I go to that clip, I, I want you guys to know, Dr. Watkins, what I'm saying about him is factuals. I'm not making anything up about Dr. Morris Watkins. This is who he is. There was another guy, by the way, too, before we get to Corey Holcomb, I wanted to show you guys. His name was uh, Jackson Brand. This guy went in on you know, Kevin Samuel. He's another brother who's a simp, I would like to call. Women know the game that these type of dudes do. He goes into his dialogues, the women, and he says all women are queen, which is true. But he doesn't stop uttering that word. Then he says women cannot be wrong. His whole thing and his whole cliche is he's a bodybuilder that gets moist for women, and he wants women to get moist for him too. So it was easy for him to present his narrative because, remember, he's in the business of getting women. And in the business of getting women, if this is your core constituents, you're going to let them know that they're God and they're everything. You know, the brother polite situation. This gentleman has been on a relentless throttle against Kevin Samuels, almost as if to say he was waiting for that day and his moment is here. It's it, like to call himself a self-love ambassador, but yet you have none to show towards your own brother. I call that the contradiction at the most, man. And, and I wanted to get to a guy that in the elephant in the room. The reason I'm going to focus on this man here, Corey Holcomb, as the focal point. I want you guys to understand. Corey Holcomb is the focal point of what I'm about to get into. Because he's a man who speaks against what people are coming at Kevin Samuels for. He's a man that 
Literally, if you watch everything he does, he may give it in a different way than Kevin. He may not be dressed as fly as Kevin, but the way he tries to dress and he presents his arguments and narrative, he is a Kevin Samuels. So you would think Corey Holcomb would understand what that brother Kevin Samuels present out there. Nope. Freeze Love, who has been missing on Corey Holcomb's show for a while, he gets on his show and he makes a reference to Kevin Samuel. First thing Corey Holcomb does, you can tell he knows Kevin. He's like, I don't know the brother. He's gay, whatever, the educational purpose. And I'm like, what does that have to do with anything? Because we doubt it. I doubt 100% that that man is not. You know what? Why would Corey Holcomb says that? Unless if you knew who Kevin was, you've been watching his video videos and the views. And let's just be real, as content creators, we can somewhat be competitive. And as black men in general, you know, egos jump in the way. And I feel like Corey, he violated the brother Kevin Samuels without even interjecting a proper dialogue and giving a good critique of the brother. He just jumped out the window and went against everything what he said. Let me push play. <laughs> can you say now he's gonna be mad at you when you deliberately threw a shot at him so he could be mad at you Corey? what are you doing bro listen listen yeah. on the real, burn him down on the the real I, I put it this way if, if they uh, said he was gay i wouldn't i wouldn't be a bit surprised what's his name because the dude one thing he said is he asked the nigga was his dick big no he gave him Exactly. There ain't nothing I got to take You ask another man that? What is that? Nigga? That's gay. Really that's that's flirting. Wait, wait, wait. Are you honest? Yeah, that's that. Or yeah, yeah. Because it was a dude, and he was talking about his idea. I don't really want to go play the rest. You guys go check it out. Corey actually goes more longer and deeper into this. Uh, uh, riff -a -raw. It's almost sad the way Corey was doing it. It's almost like you're doing too much to get uh, some type of moment you were waiting for. Most of these gentlemen who attacked Kevin, just the way they attacked him, I can tell it was a bravado in them that they were waiting for to pounce on Kevin. Look, y'all, I'm going to be real with y'all. When I first got into Kevin Samuels' videos, I would look at him like he's arrogant. He think he's all that, but I have to check myself. That's just the nigga in me. We have something about us that we can sometimes by accident or maybe on purpose look at another brother instead of giving that praise or whatever or just keep it moving. We like throwing a few shots here and there, and that's just our egos, our in insecurities coming into fruition. And Corey Holcomb is a brother who I love to death, but he has a lot of insecurities. I don't know if Hollywood hasn't been nice to him. Opportunities haven't opened up for him. So when you see a regular dude like a Kevin Samuel who hasn't put in the work as far as the entertainment business the way Corey has, because Kevin Samuel put in work in his field as a consultant, but he, I guess Corey looking at it as, him being in his field now this brother he just gets all the love and praise he's on all the publications now same thing with a willie d same thing with a boris moist Twalkins. same thing with that jackson brand dude you can see these dudes they're the typical brothers who wait afar wait afar act like they cool with you but they're never open if they're cool with you or not because they're waiting for their moment to say i told you so when in reality they never really knew there's nothing that kevin said was wrong you can look at it the way he said it and maybe critique that, but the whole point of his videos and things are to give consultant advice. So if we're going off that, was he wrong? No. This brother gets paid to do that. So he's supposed to lie to women and continue to feed a, a shallow ego, a frail, egotistic ego to make you feel good. He's supposed to come in the door and lie to these females. That female came very brash and arrogant herself. 
she talked about the money she made and all that he told her the truth because of the income you have if you was in Fayetteville and and you were a, a male lady or whatever you wouldn't have that type of feeling but because you make more money than most people in your residential areas she walks around with arrogance about her I'm not judging her on that he's letting her know the truth about herself did she have to eat her own words and coming up there? Yes. That video is old. I seen that video, I think, like four months ago. You guys tell me if I'm mistaken. I've seen that video circulating already. Why now that video has a backlash? There are countless shows, videos, movies degrading men, black men in general. Let's just keep it real. We're not good fathers. We're not there for our kids. A typical cliche BS that they propagate with propaganda and flourish it around here. Where are the black women to speak against that? Cynthia G, I don't have nothing against her. She did cause backlash when she had a, a baby with that Robert Perkins dude or whatever, but not enough. And she's one of the main critiques of this Kevin Samuel dude. Sun Saray, salute to her. Glad she's not dead. She's critiquing it. Certain people, or I don't feel they can even critique this man. They look foolish, beyond foolish. The way they're critiquing them is like asinine, in the words of Stephen A. Smith. It's like you, you of all people, what did this man do to anybody for the world to be against Kevin Samuels? If I'm Kevin Samuels, I'm sitting back and I'm going, I don't know what I'm doing, but it's working and I'm not going to change it. He shouldn't change his approach. Who are we to tell this man for a, a core project he's been doing that's been working excellent? It's been navigating through the trenches of the media world and the, the internet world perfectly and rapidly. Why should he change his ways? Because a few feelings felt hurt because they're not used to the norm of somebody telling them no you're not the best looking queen in the room deal with it you don't have to interject these words into your mind and take it as so all you guys are wearing capes to run to this lady's rescue and i found that disturbing especially when i doubt the lady asked for any of you guys help willie d can't help himself to jump and pounce on opportunity so he can get somebody's wave or whatever, especially when it comes to lying to women. According to brothers like Willie D and Morse Talkins, the black woman can never be at fault. The reason why I have a large woman following, I look at them and I tell them the truth. I'm not trying to engage to, in a, a promiscuous way to sleep in bed with them. I just let them know what it is, man. A and a woman will rock with you by just telling them that. I guarantee you that girl got so moist when Kevin told her, you're going to be lonely for the rest of your life. She had heat from being mad, but at the same time, the masculinity that lived in Kevin, she's not used to that. Who cares if he's not a buff dude like this? I don't want to, I got to watch my words like that. Jackson Brand dude. He doesn't have to be. You can see the dominance in Kevin without him over exacerbating himself to portray like he's this thug alpha. No, he gives it by exuding himself and his intelligence and the way he articulates himself and the way he comes across like I'm not better than you. But because of how hard I worked in life, then it might do appear I'm better than you deal with it. Try to be better than me or match up with me so we can have that equal boundaries that you women and men love to talk about. It's crazy how people can take what that man do, flip it to their own narratives to make him the bad villain. But yet you're the same people who are going to be in some type of relationship with the women he's trying to empower. And you claim you're empowering them, but yet you're going to be complaining with them same women you're trying to be the rescue for. Let's stop capping. You're going to get in some type of fight, argument, maybe even domestic dispute or domestic violence as far as that. Let's stop capping now. I have to look at everybody and see the fake outrage. It's a lot of black men in this sector who knows if you lie to a black woman, a lot of our beautiful queen sisters, their egos and their feelings and their self-esteem is so broken. If any low down or whatever down with it dude comes around you and tell queen, you're the best of the world, you just run to them. Because that feeling of feeling better and wanted is your weakness. And I feel like what Kevin is trying to do, he's trying to make you want yourself so you shouldn't have to fall into these traps. Now, the way he coaches and gives it to you, you may not like it, but it's effective. It's effective. That's all I want to hear from anybody critiquing Kevin. Was it effective or not? I don't really want to hear about your hurt feelings. Corey Holcomb, you disappointed me and many of the people. I will tell all you guys, go subscribe to Kevin. I think a brother like him is needed. It's almost sad to hate a, 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 a man in general and a black man at that can get from his own peers for clout. I doubted that if Kevin didn't have a large following that he had, there would have been no backlash. We watch multiple people on these outlets who talk about people in that way. Where are the critiques? 
where are the help and the justice leagues of warrior feminists to help black men or men in general who get attacked every day by if you if i don't call it attack but if you guys are calling kevin what he did to that lady an, an attack then i would have to say men are getting attacked relentless especially black men every show that i watch i have to see it if my wife is watching some woman empowerment program i'm not gonna go there and stop her from watching it to feel better you know what I mean? I feel like that's what people are doing. Why would you stop Kevin if he's literally teaching people? The fact that I have this, you know, clothing on me and this type of attire, it shows you the work that Kevin has put in. You got brothers like me. It's, I, it's the Obama effect. Every thug out there started wearing suits and thighs because Obama could do it. You can do it. So I feel like with the nature itself, let me present myself more presentable because we're speaking about Kevin. That's the impact of Kevin. Am I somewhat biased towards Kevin? Yeah, because it, it been a while since I've seen a true alpha. Not an alpha like Corey Holcomb who forced himself upon us to say he's an alpha. Real alphas don't have to say it on every damn episode. They display it with their prowess. Not power, with their prowess. And I doubt if some of you guys picked up what I said, but who cares? Corey Holcomb, you let me down with that. You showing me you're no different than the clickbait people. You're no different, brother Corey Holcomb. Nothing is ever going to happen. Sing it, John B. Sing it, John B. Corey Holcomb, I'm out. Chat room, I'm out. Everybody, I'm out. This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Keep rocking with me, y'all. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed.